Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Joe Cannon here, and welcome back to Nugget City, verse 2. Uh, issue number 2. Episode 2. Episode 2. That works. That sounds better than saying verse 2. I'm working on it. Don't judge me. Okay, so, uh, read chapter 25 of Matthew. Um, and what I wanted to talk about today, um... Not as much of a nugget as just something to think and to chew on. Uh, but I, I was I was stuck on the parable of the ten virgins. Like, um, you know, at first glance, I, I, I get it. Like, if you're not prepared, but I, I wanted to go deeper and to really understand, like, what really was the fault of the five unwise uh, virgins. So, I mean, there's, like, the obvious stuff. They were all virgins, so they were uh, pure. Um, they all had lamps. Uh, they were all invited. So, like, this leads me to believe that this is all pertaining to faithful disciples. Nowadays, the modern translation, but, like, faithful men and women of God. They are the people that are doing things right. Um, but the two differences are... One are wise, and one group is foolish. Um, and the only thing that distinguishes them is that the wise ones brought some extra oil, and the foolish ones didn't. Um, they all used olive oil, which is what God commanded the Israelites in the Old Testament to use, and he also commanded them to keep the lamp burning. That's important. Um, so, the foolish ones did everything right. They, they used olive oil, they, uh, they, they trimmed their lamps. Uh, if you've ever used like an, just an old school lamp, which I have one, um, it's, you gotta like trim it if you, if you have too much wick, it burns super fast, it's bright, but if you use too little, it's not bright and, you know, it's pointless. Um, it, it ceases to be a lamp, but like a tiny little candle. Uh, either way, that's that's not as important. Like they, they they all did the right thing. The only difference is the wise ones brought extra. So the lamps are, I guess you could say, our salvation. Maybe. Uh, they, oh, don't don't extinguish the the spirit's frame. So flame. So uh, so what is this oil? What does the oil represent? What is the thing that? Um, and I couldn't, I couldn't really, I, I just couldn't uh, understand it. And, and if you guys have more insights, please uh, post them in the comments below. Uh, but what, one thing, uh, one thing that helped make more sense, because I use, uh, I'm using the English Standard Version right now. I have the NIV 84, which I love it. Uh, it's fun to preach from. It's easy to read. Uh, English Standard Version helps me see some other things from a different angle. But a nifty little Bible that I have here, which is super fun, but I've been reading it and it's been helping some stuff make a lot of sense, is the Jesus book. The Hawaiian Pigeon. Uh, Hawaiian Pigeon. I've been drinking coffee, excuse me. Um, so it's the Hawaiian Pigeon. It's, it's hard to read at first, but it's super fun once you get the hang of it. I recommend you get it. Thanks, Sabrina, for uh, picking that up for me. Um, but uh, in the Pigeon Bible, they say that the difference between the two groups of virgins is one, uh, they, 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 they no tink, and the other one tinks. So one thinks about it, and the other doesn't. So really, like, the only difference is, is that one faithful group just didn't really think about the details, the little stuff. And uh, I can be in that group sometimes. I don't think about the little things. Um, people who are leaders and just well-disciplined people focus on the details a lot. Uh, they say the devil's in the details. Um, and, and, and so they thought ahead. They said, hey, you know, this might take a while. Let's bring some extra just in case. The other ones are like, ah, you know. It's a wedding. It's going to be, you know, whatever. So, these, uh, you know, these these guys, these gals, 
or a guy's in another version, but um, they 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 go uh, they go without that. And so whenever they wake up in the middle of the night, you know, they say, "Hey, let, let's have some," but there's not enough for every one of us. So what does that mean nowadays? That means that to me, that means um, as a disciple individually we should be prepared for the long haul we should be focusing on the little things uh we should be studying up on our own and not just relying on the preaching that's happening on sunday um yeah we should get fired up about little nuggets uh getting thrown out into the crowd but really we should be getting our nutrition from our quiet times in the morning um and if we are not, then we're foolish because when the time comes, we're going to like have to go and rely on someone else who is wise and they won't always have time, especially when it counts. They're not going to have the time to sit down and explain it for us or they're not even going to be around. Uh, if I'm walking on the street and somebody challenges my faith and I have to defend my own faith, and there's nobody around. I'm going to look foolish. Now, when Jesus comes back, we're going to have to account for ourselves. So we can't rely on the preacher to um, get us into heaven. We all got to have our own personal account. Um, and so I think that that is uh, a meaning. It may be elementary to some, but it's just something that helped clarify for me today. I got to think. I got to think, you know, like what the, uh, the Hawaiians say. Um, I need to be the one that thinks about the little stuff. I need to ask questions. I need to uh, prepare it. I need to get plenty of oil, you know, just in case. Um, I want to make sure I've got enough for the long haul. And, um, and and Jesus says to keep your oil or keep your lamps burning. Uh, that's super important. In Luke, in the Luke uh, version, it's Jesus tells them, keep your lamps burning because you don't know when it's going to go down. Uh, so you don't want to be caught unprepared, which is basically what I said in the beginning, but now it's a little bit more deep and profound. So that's what I've been learning this morning. If you guys have anything you want to add to that or uh, teach me if there's some stuff I'm missing, please, uh, please help me, you know, toss a little oil my way. I've got some extra with me right now, but I could always use some extra oil. I love you guys, and uh, I will catch you in the next video. Bye, y'all.